So in this video, we're going to be talking about people at the door and doorbells. 90% of dogs within America go nuts when somebody's at the door or the doorbell goes off. If that happens at your house, this video is for you. So first things first, um, a lot of smaller dogs do this because what happens when somebody's at the door? We pick the dog up, we saddle the dog, they cradle the dog, whatever we do to the dog, and we walk away, or we just hold the dog and open the door. That's something you want to try to step away from. It's not good for the dog's behavior, and it's certainly not good for anybody on the other side. You have a neighbor or a friend coming over, and your dog barks because they're at the door, you pick the dog up, you shake the friend's hand, they shake your hand, they put their home here, they try to pet the dog, they're already in defense mode. Now that doesn't go for every dog, so don't, don't get it twisted. Some dogs don't, they love that attention. But for the majority of dogs that we pick up, we dump their security levels and we basically are telling them, don't worry, I'll save you, and we go to the door, and now the dog's sitting there eyeing the person at the door. Hopefully they know, and what that means is, is the dog is then going to look at the person as a threat. Now, that's not every dog. Don't get it twisted. There's some dogs that are completely fine getting picked up, and they're friendly to everyone. However, we get the barking dog at the door, and they're looking at the door, and they're looking at you, and they're looking at the door, and they're looking at you. We open that door, then the dog is going to say, who is it? If they don't know the person, they don't recognize the person, then that person is a threat. And you have to be really careful about that because that's where all the dogs and the small dogs get the, the name like Yip Yappers. And it's not because of the breeds, it's because of the way we treat those breeds. They're very, very easily picked up out of their situations. So they don't actually build the confidence enough to say, hmm, let's figure this out. They're picked up, it ends. So we are dumping all of their securities and we're taking care of it, um, but that's really not the right way to do it. So here's how to counter that barking. What you want to do is you want to desensitize either the doorbell or the knock or both. So what that means is, is you're going to take the knock, the dog's going to get alert, you're going to then praise the dog if they don't bark, so you're going to they don't bark, good, and you're going to give them a small, small high reward for letting them know, good job, you didn't bark. <clears throat> so it's pretty simple. The psychology of it is super simple, actually. Somebody rings the doorbell, they bark, you correct them. Eventually, what you're going to start doing is you're going to start seeing your dogs actually looking for reward when somebody's at the door, you know, knocking or ringing the doorbell. They're going to look for that reward, which is great. However, easier said than done. Sometimes these dogs I've been working with um, have been conditioned for years, day in and day out, to bark when somebody's at the front door. Pick and choose your battles. If your dog barks twice and you don't really want to spend a month working on it, then don't. But if your dog is a habitual barker and it's something that's really just causing so much chaos within your own home, it's something you're going to want to work on. But like I said, simple, simple psychology, but easier said than done. It takes a long time to counter condition this behavior. So in a nutshell, guys, they bark, you correct. They don't bark, you reward. You do that over and over and over again. But, and then what you're going to want to start doing is you're going to start using somebody else, your kid, your spouse, a friend, anybody, or in real life, have somebody knock, bark, 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 correction, nope. Somebody knock, they look around, but they don't bark. You're going to reward that each and every time. And you're going to do it a couple times a day, um, and you're going to want to change it up. So when they're working, they automatically know. So you do that one knock, they bark, you correct them, they flatten out, they don't bark anymore because they want that treat. But here's what you want to do. is You want to switch it up on them, surprise them. Have them laying on the couch, run around outside, knock on the door, and if they don't bark, walk in, boom, give them that reward. And that's something else that you can do. Go outside and let them know that each time somebody knocks on the door, rings the doorbell, it's not always somebody that they don't want there. It could be you. It could be anybody else that they like. And if you knock and ring the doorbell and they don't react, you walk straight in and give that dog a reward. It's super, super easy to understand, but it's a really hard time to condition because these dogs have been conditioned for years. Thank you guys so much for watching my bad behavior video. If this video is helpful to you, helpful to your friends or family, please share it with them. It was a huge rant on bad behavior. I honestly forgot about the video until I, I recently looked at footage, and uh, I, I just liked it. I think it's a ton of free content. Um, don't forget, you can work with me online at americascanineeducator.com, listed below. I have a great uh, online portal to work with me on a bunch of different things, uh, wolf sanctuary stuff, growing your dog business, uh, training, of course, you know, working with your dog at home. 
It's a, it's a really fun interactive thing. I suggest you check it out um, if you're a little bit interested. And more importantly, uh, life short, I appreciate your time that you've given me today. Um, and remember, every single Monday I'm going to be uploading a new video, whether it's a rant or it's asking and answering questions that you have. Um, so subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we will see you guys next Monday. And remember, you keep asking questions, and I'll keep answering them.